I want to talk to you all today a little bit about a therapy called SOT. SOT stands for small oligonucleotide. What it is, it is genetic material. So the idea in treating Lyme disease with uh, kind of a novel, uh, different approach is that we're trying to get to the, the, to the bacteria on a genetic level to interrupt its, its usual process of action, keep it from coding for certain proteins and enzymes that normally would be necessary for it to, to survive and to replicate. So as antibiotics and herbal treatments work against the bacteria in different ways, some antibiotics work by, by interrupting certain cycles or inhibiting certain enzymes. The SOT works on the genetic material of the bacteria. SOT is actually what's considered microRNA. So RNA is a genetic uh, material that your, your cells code for. The DNA in your cells cre can create different types of RNA. RNA then is used to make proteins and enzymes and other things that help the cell function and live. MicroRNA can be developed, and in this case for SOT therapy, that is what we're doing, it is developed to bond or bind with these particular RNA of the bacteria. If you can insert this genetic material and bind it with the, the RNA that's already there, what we can do is we can actually silence that gene. So it, it works by inhibiting the gene's normal function. And if the gene can't function, the cell can't produce the proper proteins and other necessary enzymes, and the cell can't live, it can't reproduce. This is something that's actually formulated in a lab in Greece, and it has been used for cancer treatment actually for many years. It has also been used for other infectious diseases, including Lyme disease and co-infections over the past decade or so. This is not a new therapy by any means, but it is still relatively unknown. Genetic therapy is an up-and-coming area in medicine. As we learn more and more about genetics, we can find ways to hopefully alter some of those genetic uh, patterns and expressions so that we can prevent disease. It's being looked into in a number of different areas of medicine. So the way that this works, and what would you need in order to be able to have this particular therapy? First of all, you need to have a positive test. You need to be diagnosed with Lyme disease or co-infection. This positive test can come from their lab. It can also come from another lab if you have a test that was done through Igenix, um, per se, or even a local clinic. If the test shows positive based on that lab's criteria, they can create an illegal nucleotide that will match that particular strain of the bacteria to, to target it. So this doesn't work in cases where we have like a clinical diagnosis, where the labs are, are inconclusive, but yet we have the history of a, of a deer tick bite and symptoms to follow. You actually do need to have a positive test in order to qualify for this therapy. And the test needs to have been done within the past six months. And the reason for this is just because there are multiple strains of these bacteria. And, and the whole idea is, is we need to be very specific in what we target. So the other thing to know about is how, does it, how it's, um, it's given. It's an IV medication. And I guess they, they technically don't consider it a medication because it's genetic therapy. But either way you look at it, it has to be done via IV. So... As you have that the molecule injected and, and uh, um, have it start circulating within your system, it actually is a very stable molecule and will remain within your body for roughly about six months. What people are saying is that it tends to really work for the first three months and then you can kind of sometimes notice a taper off after that. So as we know with chronic Lyme disease, sometimes treatment takes a while. So one SOT therapy may not be enough to completely get someone better. Sometimes you need to do it a few different times. And if there are co-infections, you would need to do a, a different SOT for each one because each one is programmed for a very specific bacteria. It's, it's really an interesting therapy to look at. And 
Um, the, the, one of the good things about it is that side effects are very minimal. The, the main side effects that have been seen generally are with the infusion itself, not from the actual, uh, not from the actual molecules that are being injected. Another thing to know is that you can still do other treatments with this. It isn't something that has to be a standalone treatment. So if we're finding that there is just a particular bacteria that's not responding well, we can target that with SOT therapy while we still continue to treat everything else that's going on. Another really important factor to know about is that even though we're inserting genetic material, there, there, there can be worry about whether this is going to affect our, our cells in our body, whether this is going to create um, changes within our own DNA. I'll tell you right now that they actually can't. That's, that's something that definitely does not happen. So this is a very safe uh, procedure here. It's, and the reason why it can't is because DNA is made up of what we call base pairs. So there are different amino acids um, along the course of the strands of, of DNA and RNA. And it's a very particular, very specific pattern that makes up that genetic material. And each of these base pairs, they call them pairs because they can only match up with one other type. So if you know the type of code that you're looking at silencing, you simply create a molecule that has a complementary set of pairs. So it can only bind to that one particular piece of mRNA. So we can know that it's going to be safe and we can know that it's going to target what we want it to target. It is a treatment that, that uh, doesn't work for every single person, just like anything in Lyme disease. Unfortunately, I wish it was super simple and everyone could just respond and, and get better and, and, and not have this, uh, this difficulty figuring out sometimes what it is that's going to work for each person. So SOT therapy isn't, isn't a silver bullet by any means, but it's, but it's another great tool. And that's, and that's what it is. It's a tool along with other options and other treatments that can be done simultaneously. And it's another, it's another thing that we can use to truly try to battle um, these cases of, of chronic, chronic Lyme.